I'm Megan and that's Matt. Recently we sold our van and packed up our lives into bags and boarded a one-way flight to Barcelona. From now on we will be living and traveling full time with Europe being the first destination abroad. How long is this lifestyle gonna last? I guess you're gonna have to subscribe and follow along to find out. Now let's get back to Barcelona and check into our hotel. Welcome to our hotel. I'm so freaking excited to be here like it's kind of wild that this is our lives right now so be prepared for the rest of the adventures. Oh wow, I almost like jumped right out. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta work on that jet lag. Oh, I'm quite tired. Look at this beautiful view. This is like a complete city view. We got upgraded to the 10th floor, which is the highest floor at this hotel. And this view is just incredible. It's so cool. This might actually be the nicest hotel room I've ever been in. Really? Top floor, baby. Top yes. floor. When you first walk in, we actually have like a mud room. We've got robes, we can hang up our clothes, closets, a safe mini bar. The bathroom is super impressive because it's huge and it has a bidet. Americans don't use bidets, which is like kind of crazy because you just wipe your butt instead of washing your butt and it doesn't make any sense. This bathtub looks luxurious AF. Last but not least, let's not forget the bed. We are so excited to be here and our entry has just been so positive. The flight was amazing, going through custom was amazing, getting to the city center from the airport was amazing. I mean, everything has been amazing so far, so I cannot wait to hit the town. Before we head into the city, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Wandered. <laughs> if you guys have been following us for a while, you'll know that we've gone through our fair share of different backpacks. I mean, I think we've spent a lot of money trying to figure out what backpack pack is going to be the best for us. Thankfully, recently we found Wandered, which is going to be the best option for us as we travel through Europe. This is Wandered's 21 liter all new Provoke bag. And what's great about it is that it's a photography backpack and a travel backpack. It's water resistant, so we can take it on hikes and not have to worry about rain getting into our gear. I feel like Wandered really thought this backpack through because every time I find a new hidden pocket, I'm like, that just makes all the sense. When we want to bring minimal things around, then we can roll it all the way down and it's a 21 liter backpack. Personally, I love that it has like so many hidden pockets and the best part is we can take the photography cube out of the bag to use it as a day pack, which is great for day hikes and things like that when we don't want to bring all of our gear with us all the time. Thank you to Wander for sponsoring this video and enough talking about it, let's see it in action. Our hotel is in a prime spot, so we're just gonna go and explore around the vicinity, which is like directly where we want to be for all the touristy stuff in Barcelona. We only have two days in Barcelona, so for us, it's kind of a splurge to stay in the city center, but it's so worth it because we can do so much within a short amount of time, within walking distance. So grateful to be here and I'm so glad we started our Europe trip in Barcelona because it is absolutely beautiful and lively. The architecture is amazing and it's honestly such a beautiful walkable city with so much history and rich background. I'm just so excited to be here. I can't be more ecstatic. the cities I've been to, I have to say Barcelona is probably the most walkable. Everything here is just so old and historic and really beautiful. It's giving me some huge Game of Thrones vibes. We finally made it to La Rambla and from all of our research, this is kind of the really touristy area and we weren't planning on coming here, but since our hotel is right next to it, we figured let's take a walk down and enjoy the area. completely honest about Las Ramblas. It's pretty crowded and I don't get the best vibe from it so we're just gonna keep it moving. It's just a big crowd and there's not a lot to do but go shopping and it's just a really big crowd and not really our scene and uh, we don't really... we're gonna move on. The last stop of the day, the Gothic Quarter. This is the most recommended place that we should go down and just look at the architecture so I'm really excited to see all of the beautiful buildings in the Gothic Quarter. Wow, this is incredible. This architecture is something I've never seen before. It's like walking into like the past or something like that. Something corny like that, you know what I'm saying? It's beautiful.
Walking around Barcelona really gets me excited to go see the rest of Europe. This is so beautiful and so exciting. I cannot believe we're here. This is my first time in Europe. Right here, right behind me is this massive cathedral called the Catedral de Barcelona. And this Spanish architecture is really something that you have to come see for yourself. Even if you're just gonna come to Barcelona for a day or two, walk around and check it out because it's really something to see. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa is right. details are so intricate. I've never seen anything like it. I'm so happy to be here. It's kind of a shame that they have a Samsung billboard right on top of it, but... If this is how we're starting our Europe trip, I'm so excited to see what's next. Wow. How cool is that middle part? Where it looks like carved out. The Samsung really does ruin it. <laughs> My first thoughts of Barcelona is it's an absolutely beautiful city. You do have to keep a watch out for people who are pickpocketers and scammers and things like that. But that kind of goes along with any major city that you're gonna go to in the entire world. One thing that Barcelona is absolutely known for is its tapas and we're getting pretty hungry so we're gonna go get something to eat now. I cannot believe that this is our view right now. This is absolutely incredible. What a wonderful day. I mean, first impressions of Barcelona, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's better than I expected. I don't even know what I expected. I didn't have time to expect anything, but this is absolutely beautiful. The sun is going down, so we're gonna go up to the pool and see if we can catch the sunset from the gorgeous view from the rooftop. I'm just like taking a little cat nap. <laughs> We've already, we've already walked over five miles today and are functioning on maybe four hours of total sleep. Totes. Would you say that's accurate? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, I think it's amazing that we can see Sagrada Familia from the rooftop of our hotel. We can see a 360 view of the entire city. This is absolutely insane. Tomorrow we're gonna head over to Sagrada Familia, but tonight I'm happy to watch the sunset down on Barcelona. I'm so happy that we're here. We're at Tabla Fina, we are ready for some tapas. So you're probably wondering why we are eating at the hotel restaurant. Well, this is all a part of how we were able to get this hotel in the first place. Recently, I signed up for the Amex Platinum card, which has a hefty annual fee, but it has a ton of perks for travelers. For our stay, Amex gave me $200 of statement credit back for what I spent on the hotel. They instantly upgraded us to the 10th floor, even though I purchased the cheapest room I could get. We did not pay for that. That was upgraded through this Amex program. And they're giving me $100 of experience credit to use at the hotel, which is why we are having dinner at Tabla Fina. So altogether, if you subtract all of the statement credits and the experience credits, we are staying at this hotel for about $100 per night, which is pretty huge because we are right in the middle of everything. So I'm super happy that we're getting into the miles and points because not only do we want to travel, we also want to enjoy ourselves and not have to penny pinch everywhere we go. When in Spain, we're going to try the most local wine possible. Cuando in Barcelona. It's so good. This wine was recommended to us by our waitress and it's a local wine a few meters from here. So I've made a commitment, wherever we go, I'm gonna try the local wine. Matt, I don't know if he's gonna do it with me, but I'm gonna do it. These are the olives Cordal, and they're the biggest olives I've ever seen. That's like something I wouldn't expect from an olive, to be quite honest. It tastes like fruit. It doesn't really taste, it's still very olivey. I feel like this was like picked today. I agree. That's delicious. We've got some flatbread that's Catalan style. And she brought us over some marinated anchovies, which is something we didn't order, but she was explaining to us the difference between this type of preparation of anchovies and the vinegar one, which we ordered. So she brought us two to try. I've never had anchovies just like fresh before. 
It's super salty, but delicious. It's like super fishy, but the meat is like super soft. I don't know, I really like it. I'm curious to see if Matt likes it. So my first experience with anchovies was probably around my freshman year of high school and my mom just had like a can of just canned anchovies for whatever reason. And I ate one plain and I did not like it. But I have a feeling this is gonna be a completely different thing. So let's find out. Mmm. The texture is really good. It's like a nice chewy texture. I think that would go really well paired with one of these giant olives. Mm -hmm. All right, we're trying the flatbread. This is like some uh, local bread with a little bit of tomato schmear. I'm never going back to the US. <laughs> so these anchovies are the vinegar anchovies. Mm. I can see why she likes that one better. I do think this is the move right here. I love food so much. The batatas bravas. These are potatoes with a spicy sauce and a garlicky aioli sauce. So good. It's so good. I don't ever want to leave. Mm. I really can't put into words how good this restaurant is. So one of these croquettes is an Iberian ham and the other is a mushroom truffle. So we're gonna cut them in half, and both give them a shot, and see what we think. It's so good. Honestly, if this is how we're starting our Spain trip, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what my expectations are. There's nothing at this table that I would not absolutely order again. I'm a fan. seem like a lot of food, but I am so full. Caroline, if you're watching this, thank you so much for making our first dining experience in Spain so memorable and amazing. Honestly, right now, the travel day is really hitting us, so we're gonna do some of the more touristy things tomorrow, and we'll see you then. This morning I woke up feeling super grateful. This is an incredible first experience in Europe and an overall incredible experience in Barcelona. When I went to take a shower this morning, I realized that the window in there could open and we could see the most beautiful sunrise from our bathroom. So I took a shower while watching the sunrise and with a view of the Sagrada Familia. I mean, you cannot beat this experience we're having. Ooh, bird. We're so high up that we're with the birds. Today, I'm excited to go explore the city even more. We're gonna be walking a lot and getting away from our hotel so that we can see all of the beautiful sights. I am so happy that we made this big transition in our lives between moving from van life to international travel full time. It really hit me today while having an espresso, looking out on the view. I'm so happy. I feel like my heart could fall out of my butt. Like, <laughs> it just... I think being welcomed to Europe like this is a sign that we're choosing the right path for us. I think Barcelona is pretty damn close to perfect for our first city to visit in Europe. The weather here is amazing. It's about 20 degrees Celsius today, which I'm still trying to figure out the mental math of how to get to that. And I think it's going to be about 72 to 75 degrees or so. But I cannot wait to explore today. We're gonna do a lot of walking and a lot of adventuring. So let's go figure out what we're gonna do for some food. Woo! We got some enchepas, which is like a sandwich with lots of meat. And this is what Barcelona is special for, especially Spain, just all of the cured meats. Oh, wow. 10 out of 10. That was absolutely delicious, but we have a lot of walking to do now. We're off to La Sagrada Familia. It's amazing that this city is over 2,000 years old, maybe even older. And I mean, we're used to cities that are 200 years old. This building is the Casa Batlo Gaudi, and I'm wondering if that's where they got the term where you describe something as Gaudi, like it's kind of extravagant and over the top. 
because this building is definitely like that. This is an absolute monster of a church. I've never seen anything quite like it. I mean, it's one thing seeing it from far away, but it's another just being right underneath it. is incredible. I don't know much about Sagrada Familia. I know it's the largest cathedral in Spain, but I do know that the architect for Sagrada Familia actually died before he was able to finish the cathedral. So it's unfortunate he wasn't able to see it all the way through. And I also know that it's usually always under construction. Finally made it out of the Sagrada Familia area and the crowds are insane over there. Typically we're not big crowds people so we tend to stay away from touristy areas but it's just something you gotta do. You go to Barcelona, you go to Sagrada Familia, you go to Paris, you go to the Eiffel Tower, you go to New York City, you go to Times Square? Yeah. You go to Times Square. just about at Park Goyal. We just have one set of stairs and we're there. Turns out it was a pretty steady incline from the very start when we started walking from the Sagrada Familia up to Park Goyal. Goyal, I'm not sure how I'm pronouncing that. Goyal, okay, Goyal. Let's just say Goyal, all right. Kinda wish we took the bus all the way up and then walked home, but we're already here, so let's go. <laughs> So we got our two tickets, it costs 20 euro, and we need them to get in and to get out. So make sure if you come here, you do not lose your tickets. All right, we're here, we're in Park Ghoul. We're just gonna walk around and see what this whole place is about. Right here is the first attraction, the three viaducts. Everything that I've seen in Barcelona has reminded me of Game of Thrones, everything. This reminds me of the High Garden? Yeah. Yeah, so let's go in and check it out. I will say, since it's the beginning of spring, it smells delicious in this park. If you are just looking for a place to get an amazing panoramic view of the city, this park is where you go. Because it's easy to get to, you can walk here, you can take a bus, and it is just a gorgeous view of the city. I personally think we could have brought more water and dressed for warmer weather, but you know, you live and you learn. This is really cool. There's this arena here overlooking the city. I wonder if they used to have like gladiator fights here. Oh, there's the colorful stuff. That house right there. Oh. That's all like the tile things that I saw that I wanted to see. The main reason I wanted to come here is because of all the tiles, the entire area seating around the arena is all this like decorative tile, lots of cool designs. <laughs> Underneath the amphitheater is where it's at. How cool is this? Between the views, the viaducts, and underneath the amphitheater, I think the 10 euro is really truly worth it. This whole thing behind me looks just like fairytale land. Looks kind of like something from Willy Wonka. This building right there looks like it's made out of candy. I could do without the crowds, but you know, this is a one in a lifetime experience. <laughs> I think this area is definitely the highlight of Park Pool. The tile work is so cool and so intricate. I just think it's a really cool experience and definitely worth the 10 euro. Yes. All right, we got two churros. 
we got the filled fancy ones. We didn't go for the hot chocolate one because there was no seating inside there, but we got a chocolate one and then we got a dolce de leche. Mm. After over six miles of walking today, these are the best treats we could ask for. My feet are killing me, so we're gonna head back to the hotel and get some rest. Uh. Woo! All right, we are back in the hotel. Man, we are tired. Uh. Megan's dying. It hurts. <laughs> Woo. All right, guys, we are at about, let's see what the mileage is. We're at seven miles for the day, and it's only four o'clock. Okay, after one half day and one full day in Barcelona, we finally need to move on. It is checkout time. I've gotta say, this has probably been the nicest hotel I've ever stayed at. That view is just, oh my God. I will miss that view. Bye bye view. But we're on to the next adventure and we're not gonna be staying in nice hotels like this the entire time. We have a lot of other plans, which I'm sure you're gonna follow along. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel yet, please do and give us a thumbs up if you like this video.